Welcome everybody to the Denver Broncos franchise. It's year two, game four with the Broncos on the road. Today they take on the New York Jets and try to get their second win in a row. The Jets are out to an impressive start this year at two and one without quarterback Sam Darnold. We have seen William Rivera and Brett Hundley start games for them and it's going to be Brett Hundley today. And the Broncos hope that their stout defense can lead the way to a win. Of course, they have Le'Veon Bell, one of the best backs in the game. But have they been able to build a team around him? We're going to find out. The Broncos are coming off their best offensive day against the Raiders. And we finally passed the ball really well. And I'm hoping we can continue that, although the Jets defense does pose more of a challenge for us. And we also saw Christian Baxter, the rookie linebacker, get a pick six on one of his very first plays of his NFL career. We're just looking for progress here in year two, and we saw some a week ago. What's in store today? Week four underway, and this kick is sent to Greg Dortch. The Jets will have it first as Dortch is met at the 25 by Damian Charles, and that brings out Brett Hundley. The New York Jets offense has actually been very impressive so far. Combined, Hundley and Rivera have thrown seven touchdowns and no interceptions. Hundley started a week ago in their loss, 24-31 to the Rams. They start the day with a give to Le'Veon Bell, and I'm sure we'll see a lot of him. He opens his day with six yards. Under center, a counter now. Hundley hands to Bell, who gets a lane and is taken down. Chris Harris with the tackle, setting up third and short. There was some movement here pre-snap, and it's going to be on New York. So a third and one now becomes third and six. They open up the offense a bit. Hundley back to pass. Good pocket. Downfield. Firing complete. Charles Clay on the reception. 21 yards. I feel Clay's always been a pretty good tight end, just waiting to land with a good offense. First and 10 now, off the fake, and down goes Hundley. He's sacked on the play by Vaughn Miller. There's his third of the season and his 500th career tackle. Just the draw play here on third and 10. They try to catch the Broncos off guard with Bell. They get maybe seven, and they're sending out the kicking team. A 60-yard try on the opening drive of the game. Here's Graham Gano. Strong kick, and it's through. 60 yards, no problem for Graham Gano. And that puts the Jets in front as we'll take a look at the Broncos offense. Adam Kane, start number four. Had three touchdown passes a week ago. He is 10th in the NFL with 781 passing yards. He opens with Philip Lindsay to his right. A cut left, and Lindsay picks up four. Lindsay hurt his shoulder last week. Durability is our main concern with him at the moment. It's second and six, and they got a hit on Adam Kane, but he delivers. It's Damian Ratley on the reception, a gain of eight. Motion now with Noah Fant, who's out to a strong start this year, and another run to Lindsay, and it gets six. This run game noticeably different when he's on the field. Offset pistol now. Royce Freeman the carry with a good block from Garrett Bowles out in front. It's a gain of 10 first down in the Jet territory. Deshaun Hamilton and Cortland Sutton to the right. Fake from Kane rolling out with pressure in his face. He can't get rid of it. Quinnen Williams, the second year star defensive lineman. This defensive line for New York is going to pose a true challenge against our interior. Third and 24, trying to throw it out to Kareth White, and they were not on the same page. So a drive that showed some promise stalls out. And the Jets will take over for drive number two. And they come out with a power look, and Le'Veon Bell dump for a loss. And that's Vaughn Miller once again. He had a sack on the opening drive. Showing pressure on third down, now backing off. Hunley sidesteps. Nobody open downfield. He's taken down by Bradley Chubb. They've sacked Hunley twice. Good field position now for the Bronco offense. They'll start this at their own 46. Lindsey left. Maybe a couple of yards there. He's at 14 so far. Motion now with Deshaun Hamilton. And pressure off the edge. The unblocked defender. It is Jordan Jenkins on the sack of Kane. 
Probably the easiest one he'll ever get. Third and long again for the Broncos, and Kane just dumps it off, and they'll continue playing this field position game. After a touchback at the 20, Hunley now opening in the air on first down. Pass caught with room to run. Charles Clay across the 35. That'll pick up 14 yards. Or no, that's 19. Touchback at the 20 here on punts. Handoff Le'Veon Bell. Big hole right side and taken down. Chris Harris saved the touchdown. They're creating a lot of lanes early for Bell. On to the second quarter now. Hunley empty. Protection holds up, and the pass is complete. This is Quincy Anunwa, and he picks up maybe three. I'm not sure at this end of the field that they could make a 60-yard field goal. It's third and four. Check down for Bell, and he's uncovered in the flats. First down, Jets. You can't lose sight of Le'Veon Bell. He had 400-plus touches a couple years ago at the Steelers. On first and ten, this is complete. Again, it's Charles Clay. Hunley's favorite target here in the early goings. At the 27 of Denver, a quick pass outside, slipping a tackle, first down picked up, Jamison Crowder at the 22. Now Crowder the motion man, handoff Bell, and he cuts right into Vaughn Miller who had help with him. Not sure why Bell chose to redirect that play. Screen on third down, here's Bell with blocks. But they couldn't hit all of them, and the Broncos pick up the stop here at the 16. Two field goals now for the Jets, six nothing. Denver takes over, it's Adam Kane across the middle, and that was risky, but they'll come away with a first down catch made by Noah Fant. This offense just trying to find a rhythm here early on. Here goes Lindsey now, big hole. You give him a crease. He's a big play waiting to happen. It's a huge part of his game. We saw it last year. First and 10 now for Kane. Right on target. Deshaun Hamilton inside the Jet 40. On the move now in scoring range. Here's Kane again. Quick pass to the sideline. Complete again. Hamilton. It's a 5 of 6 start for Adam Kane. Three receivers on the field for the Broncos. Fake to Lindsey. Pressure in the face of Adam Kane. He's dropped. It's Quinn and Williams. It's his second sack of the game. He just threw away Garrett Bowles off the snap. Another third and long for Denver. They're not going aggressive here. They want to get on the scoreboard. Lindsey ahead to the 26. But early third and long is a troublesome trend for the Broncos. And now McManus from 43. On its way in through, and the Broncos are on the board. It's 6-3. Not a ton of action early on. We have a couple talented defenses, so not too surprising. Here's Hunley now with a quick throw, and he finds Quincy Anunwa. That's another first down. Two in change to go in the opening half. Hunley steps up in the pocket. Now steps back, and he's going down. That's another sack for Bradley Chubb, second of the day. And the third for this defense. Now the Jets get to enjoy a third and long as they hand to Bell. Simmons in the open field makes the tackle. And the Broncos call their first time out. The punter is Ryan Quigley. He sends it deep to Damian Charles who lets this go. Takes a bounce and now Charles wanted to return it. He doesn't go anywhere and the Broncos have it at the seven yard line for Adam Kane and the offense. They've only had three drives so far, and they've all ended up with a third and long situation. And now on first down, Kane is just off the mark. Fant slot right, spread out here on second down. In the end zone, Kane knocked down in his face by Henry Anderson. Third and ten. Their most favorable third down so far, but they're backed up at the goal line. Kane steps up, and he's going down! It's not quite a safety. Nearly two points for New York, but it's another sack. Kane has been sacked now on each possession the Broncos have had. And here is the punt now from Colby Wadman, a good one. Crowder gets room to run, though, and now a face mask, and that's going to be on the rookie, Damian Charles. That's going to be a net now of about 25, 26 yards for Denver. Very short field for the Jets with plenty of time to add more points. 
Hunley hands to Bell, big hole right side, and another flag is down. That'll be another personal foul on the Broncos. Jets given free yardage here as they're inside the 10. High snap, Bell inside the five, taken down. Simmons was there, Josie Jewell as well. Ball at the three from the bunch. Here's Hunley on second and goal. But the pressure getting through, he's dropped. Is that not a fumble? Apparently they blew the whistle early. It's a sack, but it should have been a fumble. Another chance for New York on third and goal. It's complete to Anunwa. And timeout Denver as the Jets will kick again. Four first half field goals is all we've seen. 35 seconds left with pressure again. Another pass knocked down. This interior is just getting wrecked up front by Quinn and Williams and crew. Second and 10, downfield now taking a shot and it's intercepted. Jamal Adams on the pick and the Jets will have it, although at their own 36. Nothing's worked for this offense, so why not air it out? It's a nice time to try it, but Kane overthrew it. Sutton did not have a chance, and that is impressive range on display by the young superstar Jamal Adams. I was hoping after taking strides a week ago we'd see some more improvement. Not yet. We have an update over in Oakland. Jesse Heikkinen has led the Dolphins to another win this year. Three scores for Heikkinen. Maybe the early front runner for Rookie of the Year. Meanwhile, our rookie quarterback having his struggles here in week four as Lindsey breaks a tackle and gets to the outside. Two tight ends for Denver. Here's Kane, more pressure. Hit as he throws, incomplete in the direction of Hamilton. Kane has dealt with more pressure today than in any week this season. Third and six, Kane is hit again. Henry Anderson. In the first three weeks, I was actually impressed as we only allowed 10 total sacks. It's a different story today. Jets take over. That's knocked down by Callahan. Thankfully, our defense can keep us in most games. Bell the carry and wrapped up on the play. How about Von Miller's run defense today to go with the sack he had in the first quarter? Broncos have it again, pressure forces a check down, and the catch is made by Lindsey. Certainly this offense is built around throwing the ball downfield a bit, and they've just been completely thrown off their game. I think that starts up front, and I'm not sure what happened there. It looked like they had everything they needed for a good play. Broncos can't get anything going. Jets, meanwhile, they've been solved a bit as well. Miles Jack stops Bell. He had over 30 yards on their opening possession and just about 20 yards since then. Third and long, into coverage and it is incomplete. Anderson was between three or four defenders and almost came away with that. The defense again gets the stop and here's the Quigley kick. Wow, what a good punt that was. Charles had to field it out of bounds, so another long field ahead. Pitch left to Phillip Lindsay, nothing there. They're trying to get that big play. Now they face third and nine, one of their best third down spots today. It's floated incomplete to Noah Fant. 13 yards on the touch throw from Adam Kane. Out of the shotgun, Lindsay to Kane's left. A fake and a quick throw, Fant wrapped up. Gain of five. Third and short for Denver. Lindsay gets the carry, and he's close. But I don't think he got there. Great play by Avery Williamson, but the offense will go for it. It is risky here. Only down six, but it's fourth and inches. Freeman, not going to get it. Running right into the heart of this Jets defense. They've won the matchup all day, and the Jets now get the benefit of a short field in a game where no one scored a touchdown. And Hunley connects on this throw. It's a catch for Clay, up to the 24. On second down, a draw play for Le'Veon Bell, who is met near the sticks, and he didn't get it. Third and inches is forced. Here's Bell. He got the yard necessary, first down Jets. 2.30 to go in this third quarter. Fake now from Hunley. Chase left, 
Fires one up top in the end zone. It's a catch. Touchdown, Quincy Anunua. And the Jets separate with the game's first touchdown. Justin Simmons unable to make the play. And the Jets are up now. Going for two. It's Robbie Anderson. 17-3. All New York in this one. This lead feels insurmountable. The way Denver has played offensively. Here's Charles on the return. Taking it out of the end zone. And is stopped at the 16. Denver in trouble here late in the third quarter. Motion now with Ratley. A quick flip his way into the open field. Damian Ratley with the speed in jet territory. Adams gives chase. It's a Denver touchdown at last. Wow, did we need that. A home run for Ratley, 84 yards. His third straight game with a touchdown. He is Denver's leading receiver. This will go in the books as an 84-yard touchdown pass from Kane to Ratley. And it might make a game out of this. We'll see. 17-10. Jets unable to stay comfortable with their lead as the catch is made over the middle by Bell. Jets with a bunch to the left. It's third and two. With time, downfield shot for Anderson. He was open and Hunley missed him. Great cut here by Robbie Anderson. I don't think Simmons was going to prevent that. And the Broncos catch a break and get the stop. Here's another punt from Quigley. He's been excellent today. Charles lets this one go. Bouncing at the one. Charles tried to pick it up and couldn't do it. The Jets recover at the one. You gotta be kidding me. Damian Charles saw it was going to stop inside the one. He tried to pick it up and run. He just forgot to secure the football. The Jets have it now inside the Denver one. It is first and goal for Brett Hundley. He fires, touchdown Anunua. This team is something else. 24-10 Jets. Well, it's a two-score game again. Damian Ratley gave us the one big play. We've been looking for those all day. Lindsey hasn't gotten free for any. Second down for Adam Kane here as the third quarter winds down. Tough catch made by Cortland Sutton. I think that's his first catch of the whole game. Third down now for Kane in the offense. He's pressured out to his right. Has to fire off. Balance. It's a catch. Deshaun Hamilton. That is a fantastic play. Kane has been having to roll away from pressure all game long. Now happy to throw one as soon as he receives the snap. It's caught by Sutton. Gain of seven. Ratley slot left on third and two. Sweeping with Lindsey. He gets the first down in the Jets territory. And now he's down again. You hate to see this. It is now the fourth consecutive game, including the preseason. Lindsey has suffered an injury. Royce Freeman is in. He carries, and he gets maybe a yard. We'll wait on the update about Philip Lindsey. Third down, Kane. He'll bail out of the pocket, sets his feet, and fires to the open man. It's Ratley now with a face mask at the end. How key has Ratley been? His emergence really came out of nowhere in the preseason. It's goal to go. Kane fires as he's hit. Touchdown, Deshaun Hamilton. What a game he's put together, leading the way with this receiving core. And the Jets are again only up by one score. With all that's gone on here in the second half, we still have a game. Jets take over, and Vaughn Miller is in the backfield. Whether it's the quarterback or your running back, someone's losing yards. Four tackles for a loss today for Vaughn Miller. And they hand it again to Bell, playing very safe with this slim lead. And he stopped. Here we go again with the Denver offense, and now a chance to tie. Motion across with no offense. Here's Kane, going long, fans way at the sideline. It's a catch. They'll rule him in bounds. Perhaps worth the second look in the Jets challenge. I didn't think he got in. And no, he didn't. It's overturned. Second and 10 for Kane. 
He is off the mark and intercepted Avery Williamson. Another one gets away from Kane and the Jets have made him pay for his misses. And now another short field for New York. One more score could end this. First and 10, Hunley. He's going long toward the end zone and it's nearly picked by Callahan as that got tipped in the air. The Jets are fortunate. Now it's third and 10. Hunley, pressured, he's going down. It is the rookie Tremaine Atkins with the first sack of his NFL career backing up the Jets at the 34. That brings out Graham Gano, who hit one from 60 earlier. This from 51, doinks off the upright. It is still a one score game. The Broncos are still in it. Five minutes left. Adam Kane picked off twice today and sacked many more than that. Four for Quinn and Williams. 10 sacks, first three games. The Jets, I believe, are at seven now. Third and 17, he's dropped again. Jordan Jenkins. And the Broncos will kick it away. Here's Wadman to send it deep. Out kicking coverage a bit, Jamison Crowder. Broke a tackle of Callahan and falls ahead at the 40. Good return. The Jets now trying to run out this clock. They have not ran well in the second half. Bell the carry, and it's Atkins again. Another good play. Third down Jets. Clay in the backfield now, and here's Hunley. Quick dump to Bell, taken down by Jack and Harris. And the Denver defense has come through again. Still a seven-point game, and now it's all on the offense. The punt from Quigley, fielded by Kareth White, and he cannot return it more than maybe a yard. Ryan Quigley has been outstanding today. And he's put the Broncos in a tough spot. Rookie Adam Kane trying to pull off a comeback. His attempt failed two weeks ago against Miami. Now they have to get a touchdown in two minutes and 10 seconds. The check down to Royce Freeman will get them started creating some breathing room. Now Kane adjusts the formation. Third and two. With protection, he's overthrown Hamilton. And it's fourth down Denver. Game possibly on the line. They have their timeouts. Can they pick up two? Kane protected. It's complete. Deshaun Hamilton, his favorite target in this one. They're going hurry up. Still three timeouts for the Broncos, but only at their own 22. Kane, complete again. Hamilton, first down and a timeout called by Denver. Still 66 yards to go. They have a minute to pull this off. Kane outside for Sutton, it's off his hands. There was coverage there, it was close. Second down Denver. Kane, now the pressure's back. He'll fire on the move, it's caught! Noah Fant across midfield, what a grab. Down to 36 seconds. Kane, rolling again from pressure and decides to throw it away, good coverage. 32 seconds left, two timeouts, here's second down. Kane, again good coverage, buying time, has to throw this one away. Back to back throwaways and now we're down to 26 seconds. Third down for the Broncos. Kane with pressure, gets it away, knocked down. Trying to find Sutton, he missed. And now on fourth down, do you try to get the 10 or do you try to get the touchdown? There are only 21 seconds left. Here's Kane, he'll fire, first down! Damian Ratley, they're not done. Now at the 32, you can start going to the end zone. Here's first and 10. Kane going for it all right here in the end zone! It's picked! Artie Burns ends the game and the Jets win! 24-17. He gave Sutton a shot. But good coverage from Burns, and he locates the ball, makes a fantastic pick, and the Broncos have fallen to 1-3 and three on the season. It feels like a miracle they were in this game at all. They made so many mistakes and lost the turnover battle 4 to nothing. I can't get over Damian Charles botching, picking up the football, giving the Jets a touchdown essentially. 
And then Kane was not good today. His passes were off the mark too much. He had three interceptions. Two of them were accuracy related. That last one, yeah, it was in the double coverage, but the main defender made the play, not the help defender. So, I mean, you're going to take a shot there. But Kane missed throws way too many. He was under more pressure today than we've seen in any other game, and I wish that there was a better way to handle that. I couldn't just double Quinn and Williams because he wasn't the only issue on this line. We did double him anyway, and that didn't work. We got Adam Kane his first upgrade today. He got a nice accuracy boost. He's got to get more consistent, though. There were too many misses today. Especially that middle interception. That one just for a check down. You can't miss those. Garrett Bowles gets an upgrade. So does Damian Ratley. I mean, we had all those injuries in preseason. Here comes Ratley now in the slot, in the Sanders role. He's given us everything we could have hoped for and then some. I thought that was going to earn him the breakout player chance. It's not for him. It is Bradley Chubb who could now become a superstar outside linebacker and he's already an excellent pass rusher if he can put together a great game against the Patriots he could get that big boost the Patriots are a two and two team Tom Brady is 43 we'll see how we fare I think their defensive line won't be quite as strong and that's the main thing I'm excited about to not face the Jets front again by the way Lindsay's all right it was muscle cramps and I have dropped injury down to 50, by the way. I'm getting really concerned about keeping him healthy, and I think I want to start to use him in different roles and perhaps not get him as many touches and just focus on high upside plays. I will be getting Royce Freeman more carries going forward, and I really hope this offensive line can play better. Otherwise, I'm going to have to start getting desperate and start just shuffling new players in to see if we can make it any better. That'll do it for this episode, everybody. I know it was frustrating, all the mistakes, and still to be so close, yet fall short. We've got to grow as a team, and there's still a long road ahead. Please leave a like if you had a good time today, subscribe to the channel, and leave any feedback you have down below in the comments. I'm looking forward to it. Have a great day, everybody.